All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and we're doing more three tip videos today. Three tips here back. Again, these are meant to be very, very simple things that you can automatically add in your workout. We're not trying to confuse you, just very simple tips. And usually what I think about when I do these videos are literally just what's the first three things that come to my mind. And so um, the first tip, I wanna get right into it. The first tip is if you've watched a lot of my back videos, you've probably heard me say the phrase elbows and angles. And I feel like when you train your back, that's like the number one thing you've got to be aware of. It's just elbows and angles. Um, which way are elbows traveling? Are they going this way? Are they going this way? What are they doing? Because that's going to determine, in large part, what part of your back's being worked. So if your elbows are in tight, you're probably going to work your lats a little bit more. If your elbows are up here, you're probably going to work your traps, your rhomboids, your rear delts a little bit more. So that's going to be key in determining what part of your back you're working. So that simple awareness of the angle is number one. There's a lot of people don't really understand just that basic, and that's a very basic principle. That's 101. So I said angles. The other part is your elbows. So what you see when you see a lot of people do their back is it almost turns into a bicep exercise, really. But what I want you to think about when you're training with your back, not, I mean, any kind of row you're doing, a chin, a pull down, no matter what it is, think about just moving your elbows. Don't think about pulling with your bicep. Just think about, and you can even let your hand just hang there. Just think about driving your elbow. If you think about just driving your elbow, you'll get a lot of tension in your back. But if you're sitting there and you're just pulling with your arms, you don't really get a lot in your back. So it sounds simple, but how many people really do that? How many people really think, okay, I'm just gonna move my elbows and create tension in my lap? I mean, when you get really good at that, that's one of the best things you can possibly do for your back. And it doesn't matter what exercises you're doing. So you, could have, you could have eight exercises that you love that are perfect. But if you don't conquer that tip, that just drawing your elbow back and really using your lats or your rhomboids and traps, whatever you're trying to work, you'll, you'll, you'll really hold yourself back. So it's not just picking the right exercises. It's really understanding that very basic fundamental principle of execution. So that's the first thing that comes to mind. Okay, the next tip, number two, is another really basic tip, and it's your posture. Um, is I watch people train back, I see them lose their posture. They get um, this concave round look to their, to their chest. Um, so, for, so for example, maybe they're doing pull downs. And what I would like to see is I would like to see your chest up and you would have good posture. So you can, again, remember that first tip? Drive your elbows, right? So something like this. But what do you see? You see people doing this, punching over, pulling with their biceps. And when they start doing that hunching, they've already lost a tremendous amount of tension in their back. So your posture should be just good posture. Like you don't need to over arch. Just pick your sternum up right here and then drive with your elbows. Whether you're doing this or this, it doesn't really matter. And the same thing is true if you're doing a row. Like let's say you're here on the row. Imagine I'm doing a row right here. It's real heavy. Imagine I got the whole stack on it. Now you can pull like this if you want, which would be more biceps, but I'd rather you have good posture. So chest up, lead with your elbows, and draw them in. Like so, like that, as opposed to like this. So if you catch yourself losing your posture, you're gonna lose, you know, you're not training your back as effectively. Just remember, tip number one, elbows and angles. Tip number two, good posture. Just those basic things right there are gonna take you a long way in your back training. Okay, tip number three is using an extreme range of motion, full range of motion, almost extreme range of motion. I feel like most people doing their back, they, you know, whether it's a pull down or a row, they don't really do any sets. And you don't have to do all your sets with this extreme range of motion. Um, in fact, I would say to not do that, you get a lot of blood in your back and then do an extreme range of motion. But one of the things that I really think helped my back through the years was incorporating this extreme range of motion concept. So what that means simply, it's just when you have blood in your back, so let's say you've done two exercises. Normally this would be maybe your third exercise. Whatever exercise you're doing, you just use an extreme range of motion. So one example would be like a supported row. So, so normally, God, this thing's heavy. Normally you might do it like this. So with the extreme range of motion, you're going all the way down, really stretching, and then coming up all the way down, like that. Now, 
that last video we did, remember the, um, what was that called? Uh, the partial pull downs we were doing, where I had my partner pushing down at the, uh, on the weight stack to really stretch at the top? That was, an ex that was an example too. So let's say you're on a pull down. Let's say you're doing a one arm pull down. So normally when I have people do these, they're driving down right here. But if you want to incorporate an extreme range of motion, let it come up and stretch it all the way up. Drive down all the way up. So it's not going to be, again, it's not going to be the first exercise you do, but it will be like third. And again, that partial pull down, come down, then have somebody push on the stack when the weight's coming up to stretch you. But so it's a row, any row or pull down that you do, those are the two types of exercises that you want to incorporate this principle. But there's something about that extreme stress, training that muscle when it's stretched out, lengthened, that I think is really beneficial. Let me say this again, though. I would not start with this. I think you'd probably be at risk of getting tendonitis and some overuse syndrome if you come right out of the gate with this crazy range of motion. So that would be my third and final tip. Package these up, and I think your back workouts are going to be more effective. It's simple. Anybody can do these tips. Anybody can add these tips in. But... Um, that's, that's the three. Let me know what you think. I appreciate everybody's support, and we'll see you next time.